Sea of Stars. So this is just a recently released JRPG retro-based game that is overhyped or not. But as for me, I really like playing this. So I'm going to be sharing five things that I really like with playing this Sea of Stars. However, spoiler alert, I might spoil you with some of the game mechanics or the game trailers or some footage. So be warned. Yeah. Number one is it is not grindy or i don't feel that it is grindy as you can see your enemies on the map and there is no thing as random encounters so unlike in pokemon when you will be turning it off after some time due to an item or whatever here the encounters are not random as you can see that there will be foes on the map so i feel like they really focused on the story rather than the level grinding number two is that the stage or the map is not boring it's not based on area tiles and it's basically balanced between going up down instead instead of other jrpgs which are mostly side scrollers number three is the battle style okay so the battle style is quite turn-based still turn-based but it's interactive in some way as you can dodge or amplify your attack by pressing a button and timing it in the proper time where your attacks will land so there's some added bonus if you do that so I think it's a good break from the monotony of just deciding if it's turn-based but then you also have to decide if you'll be using a physical attack or an MP based attack which is quite new to me I don't know if there are games that did this but to me this is very nice number four is the art style so I really like how it looks it's really retro based I remember the other games that I played played before such as the Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions and yeah so nostalgic okay so i think that's five already <laughs> and let me give you some bonus is that the music so the music is really nice so i think the one who created the music as per the other reviewers is the one who composed the same with chrono trigger however uh, i haven't played chrono trigger so i don't know how that sounds but it's very nostalgic jrpg style music and the other things that i like about this is so these are just bonus is yeah the exploring the exploring is really nice so you won't get like lost in exploring a very very huge size map to me it's just right the map size is just right suitable for exploring however i only played this for like an hour so yeah don't judge me but as of now these are my initial thoughts let me know how about you maybe we'll do a part two of this one if you like this one based on story or character development or the mini games that this game has so yeah those are the five things and maybe six seven <laughs> that i like about this game so as you can tell by my voice i'm very enthusiastic about this game so i expect this game to be one of the heavy hitters of the jrpg genre so like if you like this video subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet and see you on the next video take care guys